Greeting everyone. I am Dr. Deependra, and I welcome you all in today's connect session with Bisal sir. And today sir is going to discuss very important topic that is the biomechanics of hip joint. So I think this talk is very important to understand the basics of arthroplasty that is the hip arthroplasty. So without any further delay, I request sir to start a presentation. Now it's over to you, Dr. Bisal sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Deependra. Good evening, friends. This is one of the very important topic to understand. Okay, so. Please let me know if there is a doubt, hai, if anyone has a doubt at any given point of time, please let us know. Okay, better if, if it is an interaction, if you feel that you have unable to do it, so we will, you can text us, we will get you back. Okay, biomechanics of hip. Okay, let us start from very basic. There are only three or four slides which are very basic things which you should be knowing. Then apart from that, we will directly move into the topic. Biomechanics is such a sunte uh, sati. Matlab, what do we feel is it's very big, tough topic. Uh, very difficult to understand. No, asa nahi hai. That is not that way. Okay, it's very easy way. It's very easy to understand if you understand little bit of basic seventh or eighth class mathematics. Okay, we all know that hip joint is made up of ball and socket joint. Okay, there's a ball that is uh, femoral head. And there's a socket that is from the establum. Okay. It is called as diarthrodial joint. What is diarthrodial joint? Can anyone answer? Diarthrodial joint. What does diarthrodial joint mean? Diarthrodial joint ka matlab kya hai? Anyone? Diarthrodial joint. See, diarthrodial means di means two. Arthrodial means any two structures which has got an articular cartilage. Yes. Yes, very good. It has got articular cartilage. For example, femur has got articular cartilage. Your uh, astablum has got articular cartilage. And there's a formation of cavity. Cavity kab banta hai? When it is completely covered. Covered by what? In this case, capsule. So any any two surface which has two articulating surface which are covered by cartilage and it is closed by the articular cartilage by the sorry capsule which is lined internally by the synovial membrane so those type of uh, joints are called as a dry diarthrodial joints okay plane and ball and remember it's a plane ball and socket joint next important thing before now we are studying the uh, joint from outside in inside to outside rather than study from outside to inside okay how do this how do this hip becomes stable what are the reasons the hip is stable what are the reasons do you think hip is stable the reason being the shape of the hip joint alone okay the shape of the hip joint with gives its inherent stability because of the establum which is convex and uh, your uh, concave and your exactly uh, mirror image of it is your head shape of the head if these two are matching that means the head is going to remain in the socket if either one of them is not matching either establum or the head shape if there is an alteration, then the head is not going to stay in the socket. This is exactly what you see in DDH. What happens in DDH? Can anyone say what happens in DDH? What is the pathology in DDH? Or congenital dislocation of hip? Can anyone can anyone say this? What what happens in DDH? See, this shape has to be maintained. Okay. This has exactly counter counter shape. If this shape is not maintained, the stubborn shape is not maintained. Instead of that, if it is, it is remaining straight and head is round, will it stay inside? No, it doesn't stay in the joint because it just starts slipping off from the stubborn. The head shape has to be maintained. Along with that, establum shape has to be maintained. In DDH, the head is not pathology. 
इट इज द एस्टेबलम विच इज पैथोलॉजी एस्टेबलम में पैथोलॉजी है एस्टेबलम इज नॉट कर्व लाइक दिस इंस्टेड इट इट इज नॉट लाइक दिस इट इज इट इज स्ट्रेट सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस बींग स्ट्रेट द हेड डजेंट सिट इट जस्ट स्लिप्स आउट ओके समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन इन केस ऑफ पर्थिज और एनी पैथोलॉजी ऑफ द हिप ज्वाइंट एस्टेम विल बी राउंड बट हेड विल नॉट बी इन प्रॉपर शेप सो हेड विल कम आउट सो आइदर वन ऑफ दम इज डैमेज योर हेड इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी इन दैट सॉकेट इफ द हेड इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी इन दैट सॉकेट अब नॉर्मल फोर्स स्टार्ट एक्टिंग एंड देर इज चांसेस ऑफ डेवलपिंग अब नॉर्मल लोडिंग ऑन द फीमर हेड अब नॉर्मल लोडिंग ऑफ द फीमर हेड लीड्स टू अब नॉर्मल प्रेशर ऑन द कार्टलेज अब नॉर्मल प्रेशर ऑन द कार्टलेज विल लीड्स टू arthritis okay or degeneration so that is very important the most primary importance of any diarthroidal joint is it has to be exactly matching mirror image of each other okay uh, dr abhinav has written as ddh astablum is not formed no no astablum is formed but it is not formed properly okay someone has a shape of the femur head distorted no head shape of the femur head is not distorted shape of the femur head is not formed properly because the acetabulum is not formed okay that is one of the reason and apart from your bony architecture there is something called as ligamentum ligamentum teres which is inside and other ligamentum okay so what are the other ligaments which you see here okay anteriorly Iliofemoral. Yeah, anteriorly is iliofemoral. See, there are three. How does acetabulum is formed? It is very easy to remember. It is formed by ilium bone. It is formed by pubis bone. It is formed by ischium bone. So all three are connected to the femur. So ilium, if it is connecting to femur, it is called as iliofemoral ligament. If it ischium is connecting, it is called as pubo. Oh, sorry, pubis is connecting. It is called as pubofemoral ligament. If ischium it is forming, it is called as ischiofemoral ligament. the importance is iliofemoral ligament is the strongest ligament okay is the strongest ligament it is in attached in terms of inverted y fashion okay inverted y fashion this is very important this is very important that is the reason all our forces which are see remember one thing ligament is in is it elastic structure or non elastic structure can anyone say the inherent property of ligament is elasticity non. non elasticity yes because of this non elasticity it cannot be stretched it cannot be uh, pulled okay it cannot be shortened it is static it is static so that static nature of the ligament also provides the stability agar elastic hota for example remember if for example if the ligament is elastic what does it happen as soon as the head goes into complete range of motion the ligament starts the ligament starts giving away elasticity that's like a rubber band badega 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 at one point of time the head subluxates it jumps out of the socket so the ligaments are inherently non elastic in nature okay remember that point apart from this ligament there is something important structure okay this part this you are seeing no this part what is that part called yes guys come on what is that part called which are marked now labrum yeah labrum what is the importance of labrum dr abhinav you know, what is the importance of labrum it increases the surface area of contact deepens the cup yeah it basically deepens the cup see what is the importance i'll tell you how much importance the labrum is in case of posterior dislocation of uh dislocation of the hip joint what do you expect if it is unstable for example it is an unstable posterior fracture dislocation i'm uh, sorry dislocation of the hip joint what are the things you look for there might be posterior wall fracture right okay exactly there might be posterior wall fracture say consider in case of pediatric population especially around 10 to 15 years of age okay i have seen a patient we have seen patients okay hip joint there is no fracture 
hip is dislocated posteriorly but it is unstable what does it mean hip joint is dislocated it was reduced back it was reduced back and kept in the socket but while doing the stability stick test it is getting displaced what does it mean x-ray wise there's no fracture yes exactly there will be a labral tear there will be a labral tear okay so that is the reason if if any in any pediatric population if you say a posterior dislocation of the hip joint no matter there's a fracture or not if you feel that hip is unstable how do you check the stability of the hip joint after reduction get the limb to 30 degree of flexion rotate internally and just give a small adduction force and try to get the hip joint out if it is coming out that means it's a labral tear so the investigation of choice in this case will be yes come on yes dr ravi what will be the investigation of choice yeah okay. yes exactly you have to get mri ct will not tell you anything X-ray will not tell you anything. It is a MRI. Okay. You have to get for MRI. Remember, in case of a pediatric hip dislocation, if there is no fracture, you have to look for labral tear in MRI. And even though there is no fracture, you have to go back and suture this MRI, this labral back. Either it can be of in terms of spring plate or it can be of screws or it can be of transusious sutures. Okay. This is very important. So each and every structure around the hip is very important.